how y'all doing? Have you noticed lately there's been very severe, very heavy competition among the witches? Um, they are really competing against each other. The false prophet, false teacher, and witch, A, calls the false teacher, false prophet, and witch, B, a false prophet, false teacher. And then B makes a video and calls B, who's a false prophet, false teacher, and a witch, or a warlock, if they're male, I mean, same difference, okay? They call A, a false prophet, false, false teacher, and a witch. I mean, A calls B the same thing, and B calls A the same thing, okay? A says, if you listen to B, C, or D, false teach, teacher, false prophet, that you're going to go to hell. And then B says the same thing about A. Okay, if you listen to A, you're going, you're going to go to hell because they are false prophet, false teacher, and a witch. And they'll say the same thing about C and D, false prophet, false teacher. They'll say the same thing. See, God is not the author of confusion. That All of that is a whole lot of confusion. Now, what the Lord told me in Romans 13 through 18, he says, their throat is an open tomb. Their tongues, they have, with their tongues, they have practiced deceits. The poison of asp, which is a poisonous snake, is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now, they don't care if they tell a lie in front of the Holy Ghost. They don't care if they tell uh, a lie in front of people. They don't care. But what's the truth? All of them are hell bound. That is the truth. If they don't repent and turn from their wicked ways, they are all hell bound. Because there are no false prophets in heaven. There are no false teachers in heaven. God does not want false prophets and false teachers in his kingdom. There are no witches in heaven. God does not want any unrepentant witches in his kingdom. You know, to tell the truth, if people are evil while they're on the earth, they're going to be evil and they're going to be evil in the next life. You know, particularly the ones who are unrepentant. Um, see, first of all, these false prophets, false teachers, and witches, they are not with Christ. They are not with him. Okay, that's the first thing. Uh, they're just doing this to get subscribers and earn money. Uh, there is no discerning of spirits. They'll just say something, but they don't even discern whether, that, whether or not that spirit is of God. They don't even discern, is that spirit consistent with the word? They don't even do that. See, not one of these false prophets, false teachers, and witches predicted this pandemic. They don't, they don't even know what a coronavirus is, you know. Don't even know. What is a virus? <laughs> don't even know that. Not, not one predicted. You name me one false prophet, false teacher who predicted this pandemic. Not one did. Because they are not of Christ. Jesus, Jesus couldn't even trust not one to tell them there was going to be a pandemic that's going to shut down the economy. Okay? And not one predicted the death of great other great evangelists or great teachers. Not one. There have been some who have died. Nobody predicted that. All they talk about is the Kardashians. Which, who cares about the Kardashians? Okay? Okay, so... All these false prophets, the competition among the false prophets and the false uh, teachers, competition among the witches, okay? There is rebellion in hell. You know, rebellion comes from hell, but there is rebellion in hell. You know, not all the demons agree with Satan all the time. They don't agree with method, methodologies. They don't agree that things should be done this way and that, done that way. There is rebellion and disagreement in hell. So all of the all this this is competition among the witches. That's what this is. Okay, that's what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Have a nice day.